It's time for recipe of the day. When it starts to warm up outside, I start thinking about cool summer salads, the potato salad, coleslaw, bean salad, and the pasta salad. Of course, I am here in Florida. It warms up before everywhere else. And so maybe I'm getting a head start on you. But Memorial Day is around the corner. And if you're looking for just the right ideas to serve at your own backyard barbecues or to take to potlucks or just to have a nice cool dinner or, you know, I love having like a pasta salad in the fridge for a few days. It's just an easy side dish to have over and over again. Anything like that. This is one of my new go-tos. It's an Italian pasta salad that is inspired by the Olive Garden tossed salad. So it has all of the flavors of that classic delicious tossed salad. I like Olive Garden just fine, I will say, but I love their salad. Like I just crave it. Actually, you know, Marty's favorite salad dressing is like Ken's Steakhouse Italian dressing. And I like that a lot, but I get for myself the Olive Garden Italian dressing that they sell at the store. I buy that and that's what I put on my salads. It is clearly, I guess, my favorite Italian dressing. And it's funny because we don't have a lot of dressings, like store-bought dressings in the house, in the fridge, not for any real reason, but just because we both just like Italian dressing, but we have two different kinds, his Ken's and my Olive Garden one. That's funny, right? Anyhow, I love the Olive Garden salad so much that it is the inspiration behind this pasta salad. And it has all of the ingredients, the tomatoes, the black olives, the pepperoncini, the red onion, black pepper, some Parmesan cheese, that salad dressing, and even the lettuce and the croutons. I'm just going to be telling you now and later that you really want to add the the lettuce and the croutons right before serving it because the lettuce wilt and the croutons get soggy. But if you add them right at the last minute before serving, they just add so much crunch and wonderfulness. It's still mostly a pasta salad, but you have those little bits of crunchy toasty bread and those little bits of lettuce in there. Really, really great. Okay, so what are you going to do? You are going to start by cooking a pound of rotini or another pasta shape. I like something with some grooves so that the cheese and the dressing and everything can kind of get all in there. That's why I like the spirals of the rotini, but really whatever pasta shape is fine. So you're cooking a pound of that according to the package directions. And then when it's done, you want to drain the pasta through a colander. And then we're going to make sure that it's really nice and cooled down. And that's for two reasons. Reason number one is if your pasta is still warm at all, it's going to soak up more of the salad dressing. And like, that's good because it like flavors the inside of the noodle a little bit, but it leaves less dressing on the outside and that can make your pasta salad good gummy. So you want to make sure you cool it down. What I do is I run cold water over the pasta in the colander. And then after a moment, I tip that pasta back into the pot that it was cooked in. And then I fill the pot with more cool tap water and I let it sit for a good 30 seconds, then drain it through the colander again. And then it is usually at least at room temperature, if not a little bit cooler. And that is what you want. Transfer that pasta to a big bowl and you are adding three cups of halved cherry tomatoes. That's about two pints. And then a six ounce can of black olives halved. And if you don't have them from a can, if you're getting them from like something that's already open, it's one and a half cups of those. And then from a jar of uh, pepperoncini peppers, like a 16 ounce jar, you want about half of the peppers from there. And that's about 12 of them. And you're draining them off, just like shaking them off. But you want some of the liquid still clinging to them because I always think that is one of the things that flavors that Olive Garden salad, right? And then one cup of finely sliced red onion a half teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of coarse black pepper. Stir that, and then you're going to see that the recipe calls for one to one and a half cups of Italian salad dressing. You can use Marty's favorite, the Ken's dressing, or you can use my favorite, the Olive Garden dressing, but you're going to start with just one cup, and you add the one cup of the dressing along with one cup of shredded Parmesan cheese, and then if you're serving it immediately, give it a taste. If you think it needs more dressing, you can add more, but I don't think it will not if you're serving it right away. If you're serving it right away, you're also going to add in two cups of packed chopped up lettuce. It's about 14 ounces and I like iceberg of romaine for that. And you're adding three cups of croutons. So that's a five ounce package of croutons. Okay. If you're serving it right away, toss it all together, give it a taste. I don't think you're going to want more dressing. It's going to be just good. But if you're not serving it right away, you're going to do something different. So you're going to add that initial one cup of salad dressing plus the one cup of shredded Parmesan cheese, stir it up and 
then cover it and refrigerate it. And this is actually my preference. I do like to refrigerate it for a while. The pasta gets really nice and cold. Everything kind of soaks up and absorbs some of those flavors. So a few hours or overnight is like best. A whole day ahead, that's great. But what's going to happen in that time is even though you have the cool down pasta, it is going to soak up some of that dressing. So when you go to serve it, you're going to take it out, give it a stir. It's just going to be a little drier. The flavor is still good, but the noodles are dry. And so then that is when you would add an extra half cup of the salad dressing, give that a stir, then add in your two cups of lettuce and your three cups of croutons, stir it one more time and serve. And yeah, that is just one of my general rules of thumb for a lot of these kinds of salads that you make ahead and go in the fridge. They're going to soak up some of that dressing, adding more after before you serve it is always great. Okay, I will put the link to this recipe in the show notes for this podcast episode, or you can head to cookthestory.com slash ROTD and get it there. And if you are looking for more delicious summary ideas, I am posting all kinds of things on social media these days. Find me out there. I am Cook the Story on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. I'm Christine Pittman from cookthestory.com, thecookful.com, the all new chicken cookbook, and from this podcast recipe of the day. I hope you have a great day. Let's get cooking.